Welcome to another Angle Indirect Quick Bite. And this one, I'm gonna be running through how to fish and effectively bait in weed. Now, I've currently got two rods fishing. I'm about to get my third out, but it's quite weedy in the swim. So what I thought I'd do is run through the tips, tricks, and how I go about fishing in the weed. So why is fishing in the weed so important? Now for me, there's two major reasons. One, come spring and summer, the fish love to spend time in the weed. And not only that, it's full of naturals and they love eating that as well. Not only that, when you come to a lake like this one where it is quite weedy, a lot of anglers do try and find those clean areas, the gravel spots, the sandy areas. And yes, I fished them, caught lots of fish from those spots. But the main problem that is, they're used to seeing baits and rigs on them spots. If you move over and fish in the right kind of weed, because there is a right kind, we'll get on that in a little while, you can actually get the fish when they're off guard, they're not used to seeing rigs, not used to seeing baits, and they're actually easier to catch. So as I quickly mentioned, there's the right kind and the wrong kind of weed to be fishing in. You found your swim, you found the fish, you need to find some spots. Now, if the weed is at the top of the lake, real thick stuff, the Canadian stuff, the dirty stuff, you ain't gonna catch in that, you ain't gonna present your baits, and you're definitely not gonna land any fish while fishing in that. What you wanna do is you get your marker rod, have a good lead around the swim, and try and find some of that low-line siltweed, usually about 10, 12 inches off the bottom. That's the sort of stuff that carp love to spend the time in, feed in, and you can also present rigs and bait in that perfectly. Right, so you're happy with the spot you found. Let's talk about rigs that present well in this weed. So for me, there's two rigs. First one being a solid bag. I've caught loads of carp using solid bags and loads of them fishing in this scenario in the light weed. But let's face it, they're a bit of a pain if you do a miscast to retie and retie and retie. So for me, being a little bit lazy, I like to use a helicopter rig with a hinge stiff rig. But before we get into that, let's talk about a few key things I like to do so I know I'm presented well in the weed. First one is the lead. It's a nice light lead. This one's a two and a half, but I have used lighter in the past if I'm not casting far. And the second thing with that is it's on a C clip here, so it will fall off if I get it caught in weed. The next thing is this adjustable bead on the lead core here. Now, some lakes allow lead core, some don't, but you can actually fish this exactly the same straight on your main line if the lead core band is there on your lake. So this bead, as I mentioned, is adjustable, and I fish it generally about 12 inches from the lead. That generally covers most scenarios in the weed lengths I'm fishing in. The next is the rig. Now, as I mentioned, the hinge stiff rig, I fish it with a fluorocarbon boom at about 10 or 12 inches. Quite long really, but I want it to be able to settle down on any weed I'm fishing on. The next thing is obviously the pop-up. Now, I critically balance this so it sinks quite slowly, not ridiculously slow, but I don't want it crashing down on the lake bed. I want it just to flutter down nice and softly. So the last thing I like to do is put a couple of PVA nuggets over the hook point just to protect the hook point. But more importantly, when that lead goes in, the hook link will fly up. It will sit like that until those nuggets dissolve and then it will just come down, present perfectly on top of the weed. So your spot is sorted, the rig is sorted. Now let's talk about the last piece of the jigsaw and that is bait and bait application. Now I've just mentioned I like to use a hen stiff rig, and predominantly that is fished with boilies. And yes, you can just catapult or spod your boilies out into the lake and you're fishing. But I like to use 18 mil boilies, and generally they're quite heavy. And what happens is they sink down rather fast and they don't sit on top of the weed, they just get lost in the weed. And yes, that's fine, the carp will find them and they will eat them, but we're presenting our hook bait on top of the weed. So I get around that by using one of the choppers and chopping my baits in half. What that does, is it means they flutter down nice and softly and what they do is they lay on top of the weed exactly where our hook bait is. So you found your spot. If it's in catapult range, you can catapult the halves out, but they don't go out accurately. So what I like to do is stick them in a spawn. This way, I know 100% I'm landing that spawn directly over my rig and those half baits are fluttering down and sitting on the weed exactly where my hook bait is. So there you have it, that's everything I do when I'm fishing in the weed. So hopefully you can bring this into your own angling and confidently fish in the weed. Now, if you need any more proof, head over to YouTube, check out vlogs three and four of carp chapters where I catch some awesome carp, including a 40 pounder from Elson's Lake using exactly that technique. And while you're there, hit the like, hit the subscribe so you don't miss any more quick bites, and more importantly, any more carp chapters.